But I remember when apartheid finally fell apart in South Africa, right? And I do remember before it fell apart, um, there were a lot of large, angry white guys saying, there's going to be blood in the streets if this happens. Well, there wasn't blood in the streets. And those angry white guys, they're probably angry other people as well. But they didn't enact what they had threatened. They did not use power in the way that they had threatened. So their presence has either gone dormant or diminished lately, or they're in the cracks waiting to come out. But there wasn't the, that blowback threat. Because remember, I remember hanging on going, okay, will they come out in Joe Berg and Victoria and Kate? Yeah, and I remember. Them? Yeah. You remember that? So yeah, it's, of course. It's again, it's like, and there are intractabilities, uh, uh, conservative, social conservative intractabilities in a lot of the cultures in Canada, right? True. And they've all got to be worked through as well. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm f thrilled with joy at the experiment and the path. I'm just, how do we get there without crushing people, anyone? Well, no one has to be crushed. But things do need to change. I think, I think there are a couple of really good examples. One is the Quiet Revolution, La Revolution Tranquille in Quebec. Uh, until 1960, uh, despite the fact that the provincial government was very much under uh, francophone uh, control through the power of the vote and, and their greater pop population, uh, the real power in Quebec was Anglo, Anglo capital. Uh, and an Anglo capital that was so proud of its power in Quebec that they could tell folks, you can't speak French. You can't use French here. So there had to be a revolution. There had to be uh, 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 an overturning of the old WASP elite, Anglo capital, old guard, old boys network in Quebec. Uh, and I, I uh, uh, placed that revolution as taking place between 1960 with the election of Jean Lesage in 1976 with the Parti Québécois coming to power for the first time under René Lévesque. And there were a whole lot of angry white people, a whole lot of angry Anglophones, to be more precise, with Bill 101, the idea that the workplace should actually operate in French in Quebec, the idea that French is going to be the language of Quebec. And people understood, uh, the old Anglo elite understood this was an attack on their privileges. This meant that they could not run roughshod over their workers if they happened to be bosses and, and owners. They couldn't anymore. They're going to have to hire people who are going to be able to speak French with their workers who are now going to have the right to speak French in the workplace. And if they couldn't stand that, they couldn't deal with that, they'd have to sell their business and get out. Uh, and so for any kind of dynamic social change or, or movement, there are going to have to be, there are going to be folks who move into positions of ascendancy and those who used to be ascendant who are not going to be ascendant anymore. And that's absolutely essential in order for real change to occur.